Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. Here I've got a simple animation of a bouncing helmet and usually when we animate something we start with the key poses. And in this case these would be the helmet on the floor and the highest point of each bounce. Now what if we want to retime the animation? Let's say we want the helmet to spend more time here close to the highest point. Then of course many animators prefer to adjust the tangents simply by selecting a keyframe and adjusting the length and angle of the tangent here. But let me undo this because I want to show you another way which might also be very interesting if you animate more complex hierarchies like a character for example. So what if we want to sample the value that we have at frame 18 and create a keyframe with exactly that value on frame 15. Well, we can scrub the timeline here and move the playhead, but we can see that the animation will always play back. Now, if we hold down shift and move the playhead, you can see that the helmet in the viewport is staying in place. And now we can place the playhead here at frame 15 and the helmet is still in place. And now we can create a keyframe. We could do that simply by pushing this button, but this would record position, scale, rotation and the parameters. Or we can just click and drag and go to record animated. And now you can see that we created a keyframe using the exact value that we sampled from frame 18. Now let's do this again. Let's go to frame 22, hold down shift and drag the playhead here to frame 25. And let's just set another keyframe for the animated tracks here. And now if we scrub the timeline, you can see that the helmet is spending more time up here in the area where the bounce is at its highest point. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.